So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll cover another amazing lab that is Google Kubernetes Engine Pipeline using CloudBit. So first of all, click on Start Lab. And now, if you are new to this channel, like the video and subscribe the channel. Now, open the console incognito window. Now, if it asks for username and password, you can refer to the lab instruction. So let's get started. Now, click on I understand. So basically this lab is little bit tricky so follow the way I am doing and you will definitely get full score without any issue and let's move ahead to all task. So for this lab you need a personal github account that is you need to create it. I will show you how you can create. So first of all let's click on I agree and then click on agree and continue. So here we have to do this. So finally it's done. Now I will show you how you can create a github account. So just type github on google search. Just type github. Open github website. Now here click on sign up. If you don't have a github account. Just like normal website. Enter the details. Sign up. And after that if you have already account as I have. Just sign in using your credentials. Sometimes you will get a mail that you need to enter basically the one time password etc so you can enter it now let's activate the cloud shell here now authorize yourself now in the description box of this video i've shared one repository so you have to just copy it and paste over here now follow the way I'm doing and if you miss this step you won't be able to get full score. So first of all it's creating a cluster. First you will create a repository and then it will create a cluster. After that we have to authenticate ourselves using our github account and then we'll move forward to the next step which is required for getting 100 out of 100 in this lab. So just follow the way. So the cluster creation may take 4 to 10 minutes, sometimes even longer. So you need to wait for it because this lab requires a lot of time. So you need to wait. So just wait and let me fast forward it. Now here we have to hit enter. Make sure you have created the github account already. Now again make sure it's https and hit enter. Now type y and hit enter. Now you have to log in with browser. Now you can hit enter or just open this link like I am doing. Click on continue. Make sure you are signed into your github account. It will prompt you to sign in if you haven't signed in. Now from here keep your mouse cursor here. And drag and just select and copy. So basically here you have to copy this code. And then authorize github. And you are set. Now if you are unable to see this. Just hit enter once. Or it will automatically populate it. So once you have seen this. So as you can see data is being loaded. So now wait for this data to get loaded. Here we have to create two triggers which will be important for this lab task and after that we'll be running these triggers and we'll get the full score and we will get be done with the lab so let's start Finally, all things have been done. Now here we have to open the triggers. So how we'll open the triggers for creating triggers? On the search box, we have to open cloud triggers. So let me show you how you'll locate it. So as you can see, we are done with this part. Now we will be opening the triggers and creating two triggers. Two triggers. So now from here, just type triggers. Select the one with cloud build. Don't select event arc. Select the cloud build one. Now you have to untick to anything. Just 
got it and a new window will open basically a new tab will open so wait for the page to fully load so here you go to the task number two and scroll down a bit again no no go to the task number four sorry task number four is here we have to just click on create trigger and remove this unwanted pop-up and from here you can see the file name that is basically the trigger name and we have to set it to region so in my case it's us east one in your case it might be different so select the region accordingly let me show you how we'll select the region after that we have to select the event to push to branch it's already there now we have to just select here repository so first of all we need to connect the repository so now while connecting click on continue make sure you are signed in and authenticated yourself in the github like we did in previous step if you have done no need to worry about it now here you will be getting multiple repositories but you have to select only one so let me show you which one you have to select so as you can see here are multiple repository so you don't have to select all just select the one with build app we have to select one with build app so just click on it and just type click ok just click on i understand connect and the, after a few seconds the repository will be connected to your trigger so wait for a few seconds as you can see it's there select it now from here the configuration will be cloud build first of all branch update the branch to any branch you have to configuration select cloud build and make sure it's cloud build.yml and for service account you have to select one with compute don't select this pro uh, service account id just select the compute one and now click on continue so the most important part of this trigger was that you have to select any branch and the service account of that compute one now we have to create another trigger so for another trigger go to task number six copy the name here now click on create trigger so now enter the name here the region will be same as per lab instruction now again make sure to check the repository don't select this repository many of you may mistake may make mistake because you don't have to select this just select the different repository wait for the authentication to complete just follow the video and you'll get the score so now here you have to select this dot env make sure to select only one that is dot env if you have existing repositories don't select any other repository except this now click on connect now from here you have to select the env one make sure to select the correct repository i repeat i am repeating multiple times now for branch it will be let me tell you which branch it will be it will be candidate branch so how will find the candidate branch here is the name just type it copy it from here and just paste over here now select it now scroll down and it will the configuration will be cloud build so just update the configuration to cloud build it will be same cloud build.yml file and the service account will be same that was compute engine so make sure to check it out and these are the important steps you need to take care and if you haven't subscribed the channel till now and like the video do like the video and subscribe the channel now let's select the service account select this compute one and just click on create so make sure to cross verify before creating any repository any trigger sorry now it will create now we will try to hit check my progress and let's see whether we get full score or not so you may be worried that you are not getting full score even if you try you won't be able to get full score because we have missed one very important crucial step so we need to run these triggers as i said earlier on the part of this lab you have to just click on run trigger and from while you click on run trigger you make sure the branch must be master it should be master only not anything else like candidates or any branch so once you have done with this you have to run the second trigger now here it will show candidate you have to update it to master just backspace and type master 
and just after that click on run trigger now wait for these triggers to run i will show you how you will verify that these triggers have been successfully i mean cleared that is successfully completed in short so when you go on dashboard you will see that these are running two triggers are recently we created means we are running is running wait for it to get succeeded and green check mark will be visible under it so if you still feel like the triggers have been failed repeat the process of running again and it will be done if you face any other issue do let me know in the comments apart from these wait for some time and once the trigger is completed we will get the score without any issue and we'll be done with the lab so just wait for first second apart from this if you haven't checked the skill badges check the skill badges in the description and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel so apart from this one more thing i want to say that if you want to know about arcade cloud in hindi because a lot of guys were asking to make videos in hindi i have created a new channel you can check out in the description also in the about section of this channel so finally all triggers are ready and finally we are done with the lab guys so let's it check my progress and see so finally we got full score and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you like the way i have done this lab do like the video and subscribe the channel and one more important thing is that if you have if you made any mistake you have to delete these two repositories so just follow the way i am showing in the video just click on the settings and you have to delete this and retry in case you are failed in any task means you get error in the beginning only then this is the way you have to redo the lab otherwise you will get the error again so just paste over here click on delete again for the second repository also so i hope you are enjoying this labs and make sure to focus on learning the so paste here and then click on done so finally